Thank you very much. Natalia, you're listening to the newsroom from the BBC World Service with Oliver Conway. And we start again with the crisis in Ukraine. I'm just watching a feed from Paris where the uh, opposition leader and former boxing champion Vitaly Klitschko is giving a news conference. If he says anything interesting, we will bring it to you. Meanwhile, international observers from the Organization for Security and Cooperation have again been stopped from entering Crimea, where they are hoping to defuse tensions. Russia said they'd failed to get official invitations from the Crimean... All right, folks, good morning. Rick here. It was brought up in a face group Facebook group that I'm on that's uh, radio monitoring buffs. Um, what is a good way to listen to the Ukraine and the Crimean region to maybe get some local feedback on what's going on? Obviously, it's going to be a little difficult if you don't speak the languages, um, but either way. The quickest answer that came up was web-based SDR or web-based software-defined radio. This is the one that I use most often, which is the University of Twente in the Netherlands. This is a, just a quick picture of the radio. I'll walk you through the parts. It's very simple. Antenna in, audio out, network out. That's it. I mean, these things are amazingly simple, but they work amazingly well. Okay, so the, the suggestion was to use these, and very quickly people came back, and they were having problems with getting them to work. Uh, a lot of Java exceptions and there's a reason for that these are very java intense they could also easily harbor malicious code these do not in my experience harbor any malicious code let me get that out there right away i'm not saying that but that is the java view on java applications so i hate that they have done that but that it is what it is anyways to listen we'll do this as quickly as possible I'm going to close this one down. No, I'm not. Because <laughs> I want to come back to it. All right, anyways. If you go to websdr.org, that is somewhat a TV guide of the different stations that are out there, the different software-defined radios that are available. I should say networks. This would be more akin to changing networks or changing providers and then multiple channels within those providers. But uh, we'll pick a simple one here. Let's pick another one that's somewhat in that general area. You know, I've been to this one, but I haven't set it up yet. So that's a good example. So we're going to go to the University of Eindhoven, also in the Netherlands. Very quickly, you'll see right here we get the Java permissions. Once you select Run this time, give it a minute to download the file. It will begin to start the Java and then you will get your security warning. There we go. So this is the actual waterfall applet, which is this portion right here. You guys saw the little purple lines moving back and forth on the other screen, and it has been blocked. So we're going to say OK. And then now the sound applet. ta -da, and what gives you your sound? Oops, yeah, wait, because it froze. Don't worry about it. That's Chrome. Chrome saying, wait, something's not right on this page, but it's fine because I did it intentionally. <laughs> so anyways, it's somewhat misleading. It says your security settings. Yeah, these are the security settings on your machine. You didn't do this. Okay, but that's pretty much it. So the, how do we fix that? Press OK. You'll notice they fail. Again, we can pick that. Hitting reload doesn't do anything. We're going to come over here, right? See? Pretty simple. It basically, it doesn't work. How do you fix it? You need to copy the URL from the address bar above. Go to Start, the Run box, type in Java. Select the Java item that is in the Control Panel results, so it will be Java, and in parens, either 32-bit or 64-bit, whichever version you're running. Give it a second to start up. Once it starts up, you're going to go to Security, Edit Site List, right? We're going to add a site. In that box, we're going to paste in the URL of the appropriate site. Okay, make sure you read all of this stuff and you understand what you're doing. I can tell you it's safe, but it's up to you to make that decision for yourself. Um, anyways, once you've done that, continue. Press OK. 
reload the page. Once again, run this time. Do you want to run this application? Yes. Run. Ta da! We're now working. You can see these are all various. Every one of them is a different configuration. We can. We'll go back and we'll run one more here. Let me find. What's a fun cube? What do we got here? There, Web SDR, the forty meter amateur radio band. I don't know how I did that. I bumped. Ah, okay. So we're there, right? So here we go. The web applet. Same thing. Web SDR.net. This is our waterfall applet. Again, we're going to copy those. I'm going to go over it and I'm going to run my Java control panel. We're going to go to security, edit site list. I'm going to add. Very simple. Okay. Again, you need to make this decision. Continue. Okay. Come back up. We're going to refresh the page. Again, run. Yes, we need to run this. Now, this is the 40 meter amateur radio band in South Russia. It does not mean that it's all going to be in Russian. You may very well find them having a QSO or a conversation with English speaking amateur radio operators. So it's a very good place, good way to check it out. But um, again, that's it. That's as simple as it gets. I hope you find this useful. Post up any comments below. If I need to make another video, I will. Thanks, folks. Have a good day. Bye-bye.